me too. Uh, out of all the fights that are on offer, who would you like to see Tyson Fury fight next? Usyk. Yeah. I think the two, probably two most skilled fighters out there. Yeah. But I can't see anybody out there beating Tyson no, Fury. No, nor can I. Absolutely can I. no one. What do you make then of this... Um, listen, we, we don't really know where we're at with this, but we can only go on, we can only talk about what we're reading in the papers. Mm. I don't actually think anyone really knows where we're at. But supposedly, supposedly... Anthony Joshua was going to be offered or has been offered £15 million pounds to step aside. Um, when I heard the news, uh, I thought one of two things. Uh, firstly, I thought he doesn't need £15 million. Pounds. He's, he's financially secure and generations of his family are for many years. I would imagine he's got maybe one, two, three hundred million pounds in the bank. So £15 million, pounds, I don't think will change his... Well, it won't change his world, right? Mm. So then I thought, well, if it's not about the money, what's it about? I think he's got more chance of becoming... I think it's all about for him becoming world champion again. I think he's got more chance of becoming world champion again if he fights Usyk. Mm. If he fights the winner of Tyson Fury Usyk, it's going to be Tyson Fury, right? Let's be honest about this. And then he's going to have to fight Tyson Fury to get his belts back. He won't win that fight, right? We mm. all, we all know that. I think it's fair to say. So if he genuinely wants to become champion of the world again, the fifteen million pound is irrelevant. He'll get more than that anyway for beating Usyk and then fighting whoever he wants. I. Just can't understand why he would take that money and step aside. Um, well, yeah, firstly, I, I, he's made that clear that he hasn't said that at all. Obviously, he released that. But he then said he's a businessman and he'll make cal- calculated decisions that's best for him. Um, there is no way he thinks that he will lose to Tyson Fury. I think no heavyweight in the top 10, probably that's probably a bit too much, top five, thinks they're going to lose to anyone. He's done it before, obviously, with Andy Ruiz. He went back with a rematch and, and righted some wrongs. Um, I think he thinks he could do it to Usyk. But l- listen, if it, if it was to happen, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, because I think Tyson Fury will, will beat Usyk, Joshua will then get that fight, no doubt, will be the biggest fight in probably British history. Yeah. So if, you, if you're talking of that, does he want to be involved in that or does he want to risk going to Usyk again or just say, listen, Tyson Fury, you deal with him. And then we'll have our absolutely sensational, massive fight for ridiculous money. And look, I, I understand what you're saying in terms of it's not going to change his life, but it's still 15 million it's to do nothing. It's to not do lot. nothing. Yeah, but I don't. I wouldn't. If, if he's done it, I wouldn't want to see him his, take another fight. Right. His best chance of becoming champion of the world again is beating who? Usyk yeah, or but Fury? That, that's. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. No, but he everyone knows that. that. No, but everyone, he, yeah, but he, he won't. He'll, he'll know that he's got more chance of beating Usyk than Tyson Fury. I he'll think in that. his head, he will think he can beat anyone. Yeah, but he knows he's got... He's these not are stupid. Elite, these are elite I know, athletes. But, but he's not boxers. stupid. He knows he's got more chance of beating Usyk than Fury. He's not stupid. Hence why, if he did take £50 million, pound, that's a calculated decision. I, I personally, I agree. It shouldn't I think be about money. Saying it. It I, be about I believe money. it's not bottling it. Do 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 you want to become heavyweight champion of the world? Question one. If you tick the box yes, don't stand aside. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't fight Usyk, he's still got an opportunity to win the belts. But, but all the belts. But why? Why would it, what, you've got a chance to become champion of the world, right? Do you want to take the chance, or do you want to move away and let someone else get it? Why would you move? If you think you can beat anyone, why would you step aside? You're going to get more than fifteen million pounds for he, Usyk. He's obviously. It seems to be if if. If it's true, these rumours that he's being pressurised to move aside, and listen, we oh, it's in his hands though. If we he says know no. what he said. He potentially could say absolutely not. He could go down your route and my route in a way. I'd love to see him fight Usyk again, right some wrongs because I think he'd win if he fought him again. I think, Do he'd, you? yeah, I think, oh, I don't. I think he'd correct um, based on what his game plan. Based on what? Oh. I think he went out to box him, and I don't think he should have done that. He should have gone out to to knock him out and I think that's what he would potentially do Usyk's a fantastic fighter we know that but we've not seen his chin as such we've not seen if he can handle it Derek Chisora gave him a fantastic fight let's be honest but Anthony Joshua if we went out there and for first six rounds I'm going to I'm going to knock him out if he catches him I think he would so I think he could potentially beat um, Usyk again but it's um, it's fifteen million pounds. He, yeah, he's he going to get more than that. Unbelievable Usyk, businessman right? he's as gonna, well. He's going to get more for fighting Usyk. He, here's the thing, right? It, it's this simple: more than fifteen million pound and Usyk can win, in his mind, mm. or fifteen million pound and no titles, and then your next fight you're going to lose. I, I also look at it though and think if he's a calculated businessman and he and he is smart, he will, he will look and I think Simon Jordan was talking about it. if he loses to Usyk again, 
there's probably not much he can go. Maybe a Dillian White um, for a, a, the best British um, heavyweight again. That fight, if he misses this one, fights Tyson Fury and loses, he's then got a lot more fights he can fall back on than than he would if he if he fights U- Usyk. It's about ambition, though. Isn't I, it? I mean, I'd be, love if... to see. Look, I'm I'm with you. Yeah. I'd love to see him fight Usyk again. Take the belts, and then you'll have this even bigger British fight with Tyson Fury. But no one's going to beat Tyson Fury, in my opinion. I think he is number one out there by a million miles at the moment. But it, 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 he's a businessman as well. He's a fighter, but he's a businessman as well. And if you want to be a million pound, is a lot of money. But you're going to get fifty million pound either way. Mm. You're going to get it either way. You're either going to get it and fight, or you're going to get it and not fight. And that's for me. Fifty million pound is not stepping aside. That is a huge offer to move over. So yeah, but you're getting the money. You're hand. getting the money. There will be fifty million pound or more in his bank account. Mm. He'll either fight Usyk and try and win the title, or he won't fight. So it's basically, it's, the question is, do you want to fight? He's going to have an extra 15 million then. That'd yeah, be an extra 15 million. Because yeah, but, Usyk will fight Tyson Fury. Yeah, but He'll it, fight Tyson Fury. Then, if he loses, he's probably got Usyk to fall back on, rematch. I, he's got Dillian White. I think it ruins, probably his, ruins his legacy. Deontay Wilder. Do you think it ruins his legacy? No. I do. I do. Let's go to the phone lines. 03717 Glenn's first up. Hello, Glenn. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm good. Very well. I think... Um, I think um, AJ and Fury will never happen. I mean, everyone... The, the big fight going back in the day was um, Riddick Bowen and Lennox Lewis. There was mm. both lot of fight Lewis. This is fight's going to happen. It never did. The rival promoters couldn't agree a, um, a purse or, um, or agree a deal. And I think Fury and, and, and AJ is going to be exactly the same, the, the same thing. I've been saying this for about the last three years. That fight will never, ever happen. The only reason I'd say, I, I tend to agree with you, Glenn, but the only reason I'd say it might happen is because it might generate so much money that both fighters and both promoters couldn't dream of turning it down. Yeah, um, I was sort of saying that, but the thing is, the, the, the promoters might turn it down because they're rival promoters, like you've got Eddie Hearn and... Frank Warren. Who Fury's with, but um, and Frank Warren. Um, they're just... But they don't like each other. Glenn, yeah. Glenn do you agree um, with Andy? If he steps aside, has he ruined his legacy, or do you think that would be yeah, the right thing to do? Totally. No, if he steps aside, he's bottled it. He really has. Mm. You know, um, he fought the wrong fight against uh, against um, Ruiz. Um, it, was, it was a fat, um, a fat guy that, that, that sacks him. Um, Alexander Usyk was a, uh, was a cruiserweight that, that outboxed him. And what were AJ thinking? Trying to outbox the cruiserweight. Mm. He was a bigger guy, the heavier guy. He should have literally steamrolled him, walked through him. You know? Do you think he they fight the again? And that's what he does. He, he, he's got no choice. He can't outbox the cruiserweight. I think he's too quick for AJ. Yeah. You know, uh, thank- he's too quick. He's a lighter man. He can dance around. Jeb AJ says I'm lucky like, he's last time. Mm. Mm. So the only chance AJ's got to beat new sick is steamroller him. Push him all around yeah, but I don't think he's got that in him, Glenn. I don't think he's got that in him. I think, I, I think with, with the Reds fight, if you look at him, he gave up. When yeah, he but, went but, down but, for the, 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 the third or fourth time, he spat his gum chilled out and he, he gave up. Yeah, but when, when, he, no. when he had the rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr., right, it, it went to points. And everyone was saying, oh, we fought so well, we fought so well. It went to points against a fighter that was in worse shape than when he was in bad shape when he lost to him. And it went to, like, he, he couldn't even beat Andy Ruiz Jr. in 12 rounds. How is he meant to beat Usyk? No. I, can't, I cannot see that in a million years. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. And, and it, if you fight Fury, Fury will knock him out um, um, inside three or four rounds. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Glenn, thanks for your call. Yeah, Have I, a safe journey back. Yeah, cheers, mate. Buddy. Thanks. What he said, though, and, and I agree, if, if you, and, and you, if you fight Usyk and he loses, you will never, ever see Tyson Fury and Joshua. You won't. Oh, I think you will for I, money. I, honest, I think, I think I, you I don't can think never say never with boxing. Like, we had this with AJ and Deontay Wilder. You're more like, if he loses to Usyk, again, you're more likely to see AJ, Deontay Wilder than Tyson Fury. Okay, we'll take calls on all things Anthony Joshua. Does it ruin his legacy? Is he bottling it? Or is it the right thing to do? 03717 This is Drive on TalkSport with We Buy Any Car. Rated excellent on Trustpilot with over 115,000 reviews.